Hello everyone. Welcome to Gantt test. SQL Server debate today. Here we will learn about how to create database in SQL Server. Reporting. We will use the two ways to create the database in SQL Server. First is the SSMS graphical user interface, and second is the T SQL script. So we can go ahead with the server. I have installed the SQL Server 2014 and also SQL Server Management Studio. Test on connect object test. So you will get a pop up of the connect to the server. In the server name, just select with the wide server. Just see, there is a three servers are there. I created for the SQL Server 2014. Confirm. Click on that and authentication mode. We have a separate video regarding the authentic. Here we are going to authenticate the server and password. The so click on connect connected to the database. Here it uh, database. So now I am covering first part of our video using the graphical user interface. So SQL Server Management Studio. Here I will just create the database. If other databases are exist, so you, you can find a list of the databases. I'm going to create the new database. Right click on databases. So new database. First option you will get the database name. So I am going to enter the database name. Pivot rental and second option is the owner. Owner is by default is default. So owner is important. You define when you create the database. Default SA will be the owner of the database or whatever the owner you define in the SQL Server setting. By default, usually is SA. Best practice is the database to going to use the particular application and you have that particular account that connect to that application. So, uh, server account that application you should make that account owner of the particular. So, we will just select that owner. And next is database files. In the database file, here is we have an options. I am going to quickly go through that. And first is the, the logical name. Usually gets it from the database name. Whatever we are giving the database name, usually will take from the database name next is the file type so file type is the raw data and log data it will this is the log data log file so it will the, just save the log of the database next is file group file group is primary if you create database in any file group that is already created in sql server 2014 you can use that i have a separate video regarding the file group if you don't define that, it will take the default option, which is set by system database model. So initial size, I'm giving 4 MB. This is my initial size 4 MB, and the initial size of the log file is 1 MB. And auto growth, I'm just a growth is 1 MB unlimited and 10% unlimited. Next. The initial size I will cover in the later video is that was the best practice of initial size of the database. The scope of this video is how to create the database and go through the different options. Auto growth is one, uh, 1 MB unlimited and file and log file auto growth is 10% unlimited. And here is the important is the path. The path basically gets from the when you install the SQL Server or setting of SQL Server is done. Let me show you quickly. Right click on the server name, properties.
go to the database set. So database setting right here the path of the data file. The data file and this is the log file and this is the backup file path. Whatever we will do, data file automatically save in this path and log file in this and backup file of this. If you don't define the data file and log file path, that will take the default path for the create your data file and log file, the particular path. Now cancel the properties window. So here I am not changing the path and it will take the default path. If you want to change the path, then click on the this three. And this is the browser. Now. And last is the file name. If you don't give the file name, here it will take the database name. Or if you give the name, dot mdf. Let's go ahead and first option you will see that is if you want to change the collection of the database you can change it now you can change it later you have an option but you can see here by default the collection of the SQL server so when you install the SQL server it will grab that if you give it default if you want to change then click here so you will get the list of the collection change the as per your required right collection second is recovery model recovery model right here is full so there is a three types of recovery model full bulk log and sample it will go uh, will go through uh, go with the details about the recovery model in the later video and next is compatibility level if you if your any application is not compatible with a sql server 2014 then you can select edge for your requirement so there is a four uh, levels are there sql server 2005 sql server 2008 sql server 2012 and we have the latest version SQL Server 2014. So the application is not compatible with SQL Server 2014 or 2012 and compatible with the SQL Server any of the version just like 2005, 2008, 2012. You can select that. Next, containment type. So there is two types of containment, none and partial. So I'm not selecting any of that and this is new with the SQL Server 2012 and 2014. I'll go through the details when I'll create the video regarding the containment table database. Some of the option we are uh, here we are also available in 2008, 12 and 2014. So quickly we'll go through that. These are the options are there. Next is file group. I have, oh, oh, I have only one file group which is primary. If you have a multiple file group and you want to create the database in multiple file group, then you can add the file group or the right here. Next is memory optimization data. We will go through the details in later video of this memory optimization. So go ahead, click on general, and click on So right here, our database DVD rental is created. So this database properties we can uh, create it from the system. That's the file. So initial initial size of the, the four auto MB 
so it will take from the this part the model database and if you accept any default behavior which creating the database is going to be follow your model database so will follow your And uh, one more thing, one thing is, if you try to create less than the initial size of the defined in the model database, it will be the error. First part of the video is completed, that is a uh, create database by mode. Now I'm deleting the database, so I want to create the same database with the I don't have database now. Take the second method. We have to create the database. Go to the file. Then, so I have already have a script to create database. to change the script this is my script you would master go create database dvd rental contentment none on primary i'm giving the name this is the first first where the where is the we are giving the name and this is the file path where it will create go to the file create We don't have the DVD rental database here. Then we I am giving the DVD rental size. I am giving the 2 MB, and this is a max size. Auto growth is 1 MB unlimited. So auto growth is 2 MB unlimited. So how much I am size I am giving 2 MB. So. So create database statement fail. The primary file must be the 4 MB. So as we created before and we have seen the initial size should be 4 MB or and this follow the model database. So model database size is 4 MB. So we should create in the 4 MB. Four into one zero two four four zero nine six four zero nine six double of two MB and it successfully let's refresh the database so dividend rental is created database is created tables data so this is the one way to create the other way to create the database getting this one also so now i'm going to create the database with multiple options just like we have seen that total options are there so we can create so in the script all the script will be available with the session so here huge same thing i'm doing creating database i'm giving the path i'm giving the file name okay i forgot to so you the file yeah file name is there yes again i am creating 4096 initial size should be for 4 mb so i'm giving the this you could divide rental in a there is your options these are the options we can pop we can get it get some Rewrite, really, uh, after creating all the options for all the images. Good. Okay. 
In this video, we will learn how to create a database in SQL Server in two ways. One is SQL Server graphi graphical user interface. Second is T SQL script. In T SQL script, we did two two things. One with the T SQL um, minimum options, and second one is the T SQL with the more options. I hope this video will help. Thank you for.